Chapter 3 will cover user interface and customizing your settings. We'll now discuss the user interface functions of the Gilibrator 3. The home screen appears upon initial startup. From the home screen, the user can begin to calibrate their pump or they may use the vertical menu bar on the right side of the screen to open the reports page, the settings page, or the information screen. The home screen displays the time and date across the top, the sampling mode, the live flow rate, the average flow rate, you have the play and stop button, the reset button, the record save button, the STP or volumetric flow button, the ambient temperature, the ambient pressure, the sample count, the battery life, and the type of flow cell along with the flow cell's flow range. To advance to the report screen, hit the report icon on the menu bar. On the most recent report screen, you will have a listing of your calibration reports by your sample ID and it's sorted by the date and time. You can delete all or delete a single report. You can preview the report as a bitmap or you can export the report to an SD card. To advance to the settings screen, hit the cog button on your menu bar. Once on your settings screen, you'll see three tabs displayed at the bottom. We'll begin with the sampling tab. From the sampling tab, you can choose your reference temperature and pressure by selecting one of these buttons at the top. You may also select your statistical analysis threshold limit value between 0.5 all the way up to 5%. You may also select your sample count number. We have already pre-selected five on here. You may choose from 5, 10, 15, 20, or you can hit the three dots at the end to enter your own sample size, a value between three and 20. Once entered, hit the done, and it'll populate in that last box. You may also choose between averaging mode or continuous mode, and you may also select once in averaging mode if you would like to have it automatically saved to your SD card upon entry. Next, we'll look at the display screen. From the display screen, you may select your language. You can choose from a list of languages by scrolling down or scrolling back up. You must select your language to advance. You may also choose a brightness scale or choose a unit of measurement between Fahrenheit or Celsius, cc's per minute or liter per minute. You can choose your date format from a month day year format or a day month year format. You may also choose your units of pressure. We have four to select from. You can also set your time and date for your local destination. I also wanna make sure that my readings are precise. So I will set my statistical threshold to 2.5%. That will alert me if my percent deviation is outside of my 2.5% threshold. Additionally, I want to configure some of the units of measurement, so I will open my display screen. From here, I'm going to change my degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm also going to change my hectopascals to inches of water. I can then touch my home screen button to return to the home screen. I want to check that my temperature units and measurement units of pressure have changed to my preferences. I also want to check in the lower right corner to see that my sample count has been set to 10. And lastly on the vertical bar is the help screen button. From our help screen, you can see the following information. Serial number for the base as well as the flow cell, the last calibration dates, the calibration due dates, the cycle counts, the firmware version, battery health information, filter health information, as well as information on contacting our service department. To configure your Gilibrator 3 unit, select the settings icon on the menu bar from the home screen. 
The sampling tab is the default screen and should be shaded blue on the bottom of the screen. Select either averaging or continuous mode. In averaging mode, you will need to select the number of samples that you wish to have. For quick selection, you may choose a preset value, 5, 10, 15, or 20, or you can select the value in between by pressing the last button with the three periods. For the purposes of our demonstration, we will select seven samples today. You may want to convert your flow rates to a standard reference. If so, you may select reference values by pushing these buttons in the top left of the screen. A keyboard menu will appear. Select the value you wish to enter and hit done when complete. Also from the screen, you may select your statistical parameters. By selecting the two sigma button in the top right, a drop down menu will appear. You may select a value between 0.5 and 5%. For today's purposes, I will select a 2.5% threshold value. This is the value percent deviation threshold, which will turn red if exceeded below the flow average on the home screen. Next, let's select the display screen. From the display screen, you may select your language. You have a choice of 10 languages to select from. For today, we'll keep it in English. You may also want to select your desired preference for temperature in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. We'll leave it in degrees Fahrenheit today and we'll set it for liters per minute for volume. We'll also select our preference for date as well as our units of pressure. When your preferences have been completed, press the home icon on the menu bar to return to the home screen.